This thing is all about being fast, exciting and racy. So I've lined up a fast, exciting race against that. The RC8R is KTM's fastest street legal bike and a benchmark for how good the factory are at producing track day toys. Austrian Martin Bauer rode one to win the 2011 German Superbike Championship. Oh, I'm coming up the front wheel. Me and the crossbow will take him on in a one lap race. The bike weighs 184 kilograms. The car is more than four times heavier. But the car is twice as powerful and has at least twice the grip. This is going to be close. OK, we'll start. Well, the lights are going out of the way. With more traction off the line... We've got him, we've got him, we've got him. I gained the initial advantage. But the bike's superior power to weight ratio helps it get to 60 in a little over two seconds. It's pulling wheelies. The crossbow's superb brakes let me wheel him in at the first corner. We're in the lead. We've got him now. The car really coming alive with that extra power. But the bike's 1,200cc engine has massive mid-range punch. Love it now! <laughs> it's picked up some speed. I'll have to dive from him out of the brakes again. Ah, uh, he's catching me again. Ouch! God, this is out of the thought. Oh, I've got him wide. Oh, and he's just straight back past me. He's pulling wheelies to show off. I'd lose out on the straights. Then catch him round the corners. Surely now. Yes, close it, close it. Man is close. Oh, he's nearly out of the saddle. My only chance of victory will be to block him in one of the bends. The brakes are very impressive. No! I'll have to get him on the last corner. Ah, oh, he's catching me again. But exiting her has the better one. No! The metal the streets! He's away from me! No! Beaten by a bike! Michael Rutter is Honda's number one in the British Superbike Championship. Earlier this year, he won a road race hitting 201.1 miles an hour, which looks and sounds like this. His works fireblade is totally hand-built and literally a million-pound motorcycle. That's how much it costs to lease just for one season. At 161 kilograms, it's the lightest of our competitors, but messing up the start could be downright dangerous. This time, Button gets a better start and manages to pull away at the halfway point to take the win in nine seconds. Rutter is four tenths behind, with Curtis again clocking 13.5 seconds. Car and bike have a win apiece. Who will win the decider? It was an epic battle, and although level for the first 100 metres, as soon as Button could use full power, he streaked away from a wheelieing rutter, with Curtis again finishing three seconds behind.
three tons downhill. Should be able to stay with him, but he's pretty bloody quick down here. Up. He's on the brakes. Now I'm catching him up a bit. That's more like it. Oh, a little banked corner. Drop it in. Fire it out. Whoops. We're going up here, I mean, turbo diesel. Where's all that talk of talk? He's pulling away. On. My stiff suspension coped well with the higher speed corners, and I soon forgot I was in something rather top heavy. Oh, it's heavy! Scandinavian split one way! Oh, hey, grab the handbrake! Oh, come on! Whoa! Oh, oh! I think we need to put it in the roof. Oh, got to recover now! Where'd he go? 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 In the open sections, it was quite easy to catch up, but the twisty stuff was a different story. Now where you... Oh, no, no, come on. No, no. God, I've got to pull it wherever he goes. I have to follow. But I can't get up anything like as quick as he can over this big goat track. Over your shoulder, come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh, all right, he's gone over there. I'll have to go over there. Oh. This is incredibly bumpy. Oh, I couldn't do this for 14 days. Flying finish, I just nosed it, which makes me a very bad support driver. I mean, you can't have the spare parts overtaking the main star, can you? Finally, we'll combine both skills over a one lap race. So, three, two, one, go. Off I go. His launch control, I think, bogs him down slightly. <laughs> Oh, this is close stuff, but I am going into the racing line, kissing 100 miles an hour, leaving it in third gear. I've got to get through this chicane quicker than him. He's absolutely pushing that bike. He's got his knee down. I've got my foot down. The car's sinking around a bit, trying to uh, get itself sorted. 110, 120. Oh, my word, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. I'm doing 130. He's definitely going quicker. Onto the brakes. Cool. Brake later than he can. Yeah, I've closed up the gap slightly under the brakes there. Come on, come on, come on. Come on! Oh, and then he gets onto the straight over the gap, and then it's just... Oh, it's just gone! He's definitely won. There's no way I'm going to catch him now. In fact, the bike wins the race by over 10 seconds. But I still think the M135i offers incredible performance and agility for the money. It just can't quite keep up with the world's most advanced superbike, especially when it's ridden by surefire future world champion Chaz Davies. 265 horses under the bonnet. Just, just, just squirt it, squirt it. I say, ding dong, eh? 